July is National Ice Cream Month, and what better way to celebrate but creating some homemade toppings. I'm back with one of our favorite foodies, Stephen Freeze. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure, Great Jocelyn. To have you, as always. I can't wait to try this. We've got three on the docket here today. Yes, and on such a hot summer day, this is so perfect. Great. So you want to get started? Yes. And how many toppings are we We're going to do three, three toppings. We're okay. going to do a brandy cherry. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take uh, some pitted cherries. Okay. And these are, what, about a cup and a half? That's about a cup, a cup and a half. And it's on the, uh, we'll be on your website for that. And these cherries are, fr you see Fresh them everywhere cherries. now. Yeah. That's why well, I chose to do this. Yeah. Yes, I did. It's quite easy to do. There's a bunch of gadgets they sell that really? you can okay, buy to do it. You're going a little too fast. What did you do with the sugar? How much sugar? Uh, did you that was there? a quarter of a cup of sugar. Quarter cup of sugar. And, and I this? used a little more brandy than I should. Oh. I used about a quarter of a cup. Okay, but, and the uh, brandy is going to give it what kind of a it's kick? It's going to make it a little kick. But of course, the alcohol will dissipate of once course. it's heated. Absolutely. So we're going to put that up to a medium heat. Okay. And we're going to just stir that occasionally. So that one's going. Okay. And that. Uh, what will it just soften the cherries? It'll eventually? soften the cherries. It'll look like uh, what we have over there. I made some of those last night and refrigerated it. But uh, we'll just uh, swish it around like that and just let it cook for a while. You can smell it. I and think. is this your own recipe? This one actually comes from Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams at Home, the book over here. And she owns 10 ice cream places in Ohio with some quite interesting uh, combinations of flavors in the ice and cream. And you like this one? I like this one. Why do you like this one? Because the brandy sort of takes away the sweetness and adds a nice uh, liqueur taste to it. And it's great over vanilla ice cream. Well, this appeal more to the, to the adult Absolutely. versus the child? Absolutely, yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and is, it's so fun to get. It's fun to make toppings and and serving them to guests. It's, it is. And, and it allowing is allowing them to choose which one. Absolutely, they like. three ingredients. So we're going to let that uh, sit for a while. Okay. We'll just keep an eye on it. And keep stirring it. Yep, it's going to boil. It will boil. Yep. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is let's do the peanut butter and chocolate one. Everybody oh, likes yes. peanut butter and chocolate. So we're going like to take Reese's. yes, we're going to take a half a cup okay. of creamy peanut butter. And this okay. was fresh ground. I like the fresh ground peanut butter. Fresh ground peanut yeah, butter? Yeah, you just go to a health food store. Oh, okay. You didn't ground it. No, no, okay. no, no, no. I'm not, that to make sure. I'm not that ambitious. Okay. And we have a... What is that? This cream? is a uh, this is heavy cream. Heavy cream. The real stuff. About like a half a cup, maybe? That yeah, was a, a uh, quarter of a cup. Okay. And then we've got some corn syrup. You could use either white or dark corn syrup. A half a cup? That's a half a cup, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to let that melt. And we'll swish that around then, as well. You want to swish yeah, that around? Swish around. And then, and then once that uh, is liquefied, we're going to add a half a cup of dark chocolate. Okay. And you, can you use white chocolate if you'd like? Or is I it guess you one? can. Yeah. Uh, this one, I sort of made up this recipe. Oh, this is your recipe? Yep. Okay. And then, how'd, you, how'd you come up with this one? I like chocolate. I like oh, peanut butter. I'm with you there. And it's so simple. The two work together very, very well. Okay. So that's working I'm nice gonna, and fast. Okay, that's good. We have about two minutes. Yep. And then this one here, the blueberries, okay. we're going to take a cup of blueberries right. and we're going to smash them. Oh, smash. Yep. Look Old at that. potato masher. Well, you're, you're a good smasher. Okay. And uh, we're going to take a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. We're going to take some vanilla extract, and I think I mentioned in one of my previous appearances, I make it myself. Uh, very easy to do. And then we're going to add, what was this? Uh, the chocolate is, um, the blueberries rather. Uh, we're going to add some uh, lemon juice. Lemon was, juice. Yeah, that's okay. the lemon juice. The lemon staring me right in the there face. There you go. Lemon juice, is that it? And what yeah, that's it. Then we're going to go and make that into a liquid. Okay. And we have some prepared. Uh, toppings that were made last night, so uh, these have to be refrigerated a bit. This so. is great. And we're going to add the chocolate. the chocolate chips. And okay. you know, I have a couple of great things going on. We've yeah, what's got happening in, the, in your column? What are you writing column? about? Column. Well, two weeks ago we did a column on ice cream, and of course I wanted to celebrate National Ice Cream Month. Okay. And today, uh, yesterday's column actually is on marshmallows. Oh, great. Uh, one of my recipe pamphlets fell out from 1946, and it was on marshmallows. Well, let me get uh, Teresa in. Oh, sure. Okay, so she can try this. Sure. Teresa, come on Absolutely. over. Absolutely. You know you're dying to try it. I really am. Okay. It smells and then so good. And then, of this. course, if we're looking for food, we got the next culinary walking tour coming up on, on August the 6th. August, August 6th. <laughs> it's, uh, we got a few new stops on this one as well. Good. So for those folks that have been on it before, Thank you, you might want welcome. to uh, res uh, make reservations there for that. Go. 
Oh, which one do you have she over there? That's the blueberry. These. I think I'm going to try the blueberry too. Go and, ahead and taste. And you know what? This one yeah, here, I like. It. I like this with a hot topping, so yeah. you can refrigerate it. I do like chocolate too, mm. though. And we'll put that one on what there. What do you think? Oh wait, can you? I want to dip. Put okay, a dip. Oh. dip. All right. If you want any of the recipes for any of these <laughs> toppings, all you have to do is log on to wtnh.com, click on Connecticut. So Stephen, as always, is great to have you. My pleasure. Okay. Mm. And coming up next. We'll